age zero. I am born on December 22nd, 1998 in Mercy Hospital in Miami, Florida to Leticia Barbara Soto Leon and Oswaldo Javier Leon. They named me Kenneth Leon, no middle name. My older sister is named Catherine Leon, no middle name. Age one, my first memories of me standing in my crib, crying and afraid of the ticker toy that stands on my dresser. My first memory is one of fear. Age three, my grandmother takes care of me at her job while my parents work. I hold her hand as we walk into a giant bingo casino Plumes of cigarette smoke billowing to the tar stained ceiling above. Age four. I sit in the back of the courtroom as my grandmother speaks to the judge. Canker sores of English burst in her mouth as the teeth and tongue of Spanish slosh around painfully. Afterwards, we eat hot dogs from the stand in front of the courthouse. I get ketchup on mine. She gets relish on hers. Age five. I cry when my mother drops me off in Ms. Badel's kindergarten class. There was a girl who needs the help of the teacher and the assistant every time she has to use the bathroom. The class is overcrowded. I do not remember the girl's name. Age nine, I walk with my grandmother from my elementary school to her apartment. We stop by the man who sells granizados. My grandmother injects herself with insulin once we get back inside her apartment. Age 11, I sit in the hospital playing Pokemon on my DS when I tell my grandmother Tú siempre estás en el hospital. Esta vez no va a ser diferente. Vas a entrar y salir. Como siempre. Age 12. In my grandmother's casket, I lay a green origami butterfly beside her. Through my tears, I see my great-grandmother, also crying. We look at each other. More and more tears spilling the longer we look at each other. My family does not allow me to attend her wake. I never see my mother cry. Age 13. I meet my best friend, Amanda Blanco. She is set to attend Hialeah Gardens Senior High School. I am set to attend Westland Hialeah Senior High School. We begin to get very close, and I begin to get very distant. Age 14, I sit in the back seat of my sister's car alongside her friends. It is the first day of their senior year and my first day of high school. I cry as we pull into the parking garage. Age 17, I become the first in my family to attend university. I am also the first in my family to lust after a man. Age 18, in the summer of my 18th year, I walk to my bedroom in the dead of night, when suddenly I feel the need to take a breath. I stop and breathe, keeling over on the exhale, a stream of tears unexpectedly skimming down my cheeks. I experience my first love that summer. I lose 15 pounds in the process of loving and losing. Age 19. I write a script for a film I present in class. The story revolves around an artist under commission who, uninspired with the work, is overtaken by a demon who forces her to finish the work. 
My professor berates me for the project, citing my political film in opposition of the class structure as a sign of failed course mastery. At the end of the semester, he calls me an artist. Age 20. I find sharp tensions in the word writer and settle into that sharpened space, considering it a home of sorts.